Hey, hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to use Google script on your Google documents. So this is a very first video about uh, Google script related to Google documents. So we will explore some of the commonly used methods to retrieve some information about the documents. So that is what we are going to see today. So let's begin. So you have to open a Google script editor. So go to tools and here you can find an option script editor just click on it it will open the script editor in a new tab and this script is bounded to this document so you cannot access this script somewhere else and this script is residing within the document called sample one and that's why we call this as an inbound script so let's name this project as sample one so let's create a function I will name this function as a doc basics. So if you want to access any document, you have to use a class name called document app. So where doc, I will create an object for the class. So if you forget the document app format, go to edit and you can make use of the content assist. So here you can select a document app. So now I want to get this document so I can use a method get active document which return this document as an object so now let's see the different methods which is available to access some basic information about this document so if you want to get the ID that you can see in the URL so this is the ID which is getting highlighted so if you want to get the ID of this document, you can make use of the object that you have already created and put .get ID. So you can make use of the method get ID. So if you want to explore other method, you can just place a dot and you can go through what are the methods that you can use to do a modification to create a new document or whatever you want to do with this Google document. So now we want to get the ID. So we will go with the get ID method. Now just execute the script and go to logs. You can see that it returned the ID here. It starts with 1N and end with ODC. Here it starts with 1N and end with ODC here. So if you want to get the entire URL, there is a method called get URL so which return the entire URL of this document so go to view and logs here you can see that it return the URL so if you just copy paste the URL it will open this document so now if you want to access the text which is present inside the document you can make use of the method get body and this return the document body but if you want to extract the text you have to use another method called get text so which return the text present inside the document sample one so let's execute and see so it just return the text in a plain text format it starts with what is lorem epsom and ends with and the hike so you it just return the entire text of this document even if you have a multiple page it will try the text and return back to you and if you want to add some text to this document you can make use of the method called document dot get body once you get the body you want to append so here you can append a page break you can append table and you can append the image you can get the image as a blob and you can append the image if you get the list you can append the list item as well so there are various ways that you can append an information to the document so let's go with paragraph so paragraph is mainly used to append a few sentences or if you want to even append a few text, a few words, you can you make use of the paragraph. 
So whatever you want to happen, you can return in form of variable or you can just write it as a plain text. So here I have written append this text. So just execute this one and go here and see that your appended text is shown here. So now we have seen how to access the sample one document because this script is residing within this sample one document. So if you want this uh, sample one script to access any other document on your Google Drive, let's see how to do that. The procedure is same. So instead of get active document, you have to get the ID of the document which you want to open or the URL. So let's say I want to access the document sample 2 which is present inside uh, my Google Drive. So this is the ID. So just copy the ID and go here. And you have to open, you have to use a method open by ID, which usually don't open the document. This Google Apps script will take care of opening at the back end. You don't see any UI changes, but this doc object will open the sample tool at the back end. So you have to use a method open by ID. So there are two ways you can open any document which is present on the Google Drive. One is by ID and another one is by URL. So ID is a most preferred method because URL when you pass the URL that automatically contain ID. So now we got an object which return the sample to. And the rest of the thing whatever we have seen is same. So let's say you want to open this paragraph, open this text to this sample two. You can use the same logic and execute this one. And if you go here, you can see the text that you have appended here. So this is a very basic information on how to access, modify or add content on document using Google Apps Script. So let's explore more about this Google document in the upcoming tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. Take care.